In a separate reality, Chapter 4, Don Juan has Carlos stop in Hermosillo on his way through Sonora to get some Bacanora tequila. Carlos thought it was strange because Don Juan didn't drink. But upon his arrival, Don Juan explained that he was to give the four bottles to his grandson Lucio as a gift. Later that night, Lucio invited seven friends over to his waddling dog dirt floor house to drink. Don Juan kept steering the conversation back to the benefits of peyote, or mescalito, as he called it. That confounded thing causes madness, said Nero. I think it's stupid to say mescalito causes madness, Don Juan said. Carlos has taken it, and he is fine. Bejea smiled and replied shyly, who can tell? And everybody laughed. Look at me then, Don Juan said. I've known Muscolito nearly all my life, and it has never hurt me. The men did not laugh. It was obvious they were not taking him seriously. On the other hand, Don Juan went on, It's true that Muscolito drives people crazy, as you said, but that's only when they come to him without knowing what they are doing. What do you mean knowing, Juan? As Carey asked. The last time I saw you, you were saying the same thing. What the hell is this knowledge? Don Juan said Mescalito was like a spirit, perhaps, but it doesn't become clear until one knows about him. It's not my fault you don't understand. Bejea says that whoever takes it becomes like an animal. Well, I don't see it that way. To me, those who think they're above animals live worse than animals. Look at my grandson here. He works without rest. I would say he lives to work, like a mule, and all he does that is not animal-like is to get drunk. Everybody laughed. Eligio, a young farmer, had not uttered a single word yet. And how is Peyote going to change that? Eligio asked. If Lucio would seek the protector, Don Juan said, his life would be changed. I don't know exactly how, but I'm sure it would be different. He would stop drinking? Is that what you mean? Eligio insisted. Perhaps he would. He needs something else besides tequila to make his life satisfying. And that something, whatever it may be, might be provided by the protector. If you think how little we know, and how much more there is to see, booze is what makes people crazy. It blurs the images. Mescalito, on the other hand, sharpens everything. It makes you see so very, very well. Don Juan then goes on to explain patience in getting acquainted and coming to the spirit without fear, and little by little, he will teach them how to live a better life. Carlos then explained his experiences, but no one seemed interested, except for Eligio. <laughs>